Let's have some beer. be going down people of the world thank you so much for joining me for yet another beer review my name is Redbeard and for the beer of the today we have got a pretty big bottle of Ephus oatmeal brown ale by the left field brewery out of Toronto Ontario coming in at 5.5 percent ABV um not gonna lie I had this at least once before I think the vlog, I think I tried vlogging it a while back and the video got corrupted or something happened along those lines. So I'm looking forward to having it again. I have no memory of it, but oatmeal brown ale? That, that sounds like something I'll be at least a bit of a fan of. Unlike the fact that my bottle opener is not where it should be. I'm assuming it's over there by the couch somewhere because I'm a genius and I put all kinds of preparation to this shit. It's okay. I've got my, here, ra random shout out to this cool thing, my Leatherman Skeletool. It's my multi-tool, and I love it. It has a bottle opener built in. So, let's crack this open. Kind of worked, all right. And let's see. I feel like that was close, but I feel like it was also a miss. Let's see what we got. Ooh, she's a little dark. I like the dark beer. Yes, it does. Oh, nice. Get a little decent head on there. Oh, yes. Yes. Beautiful pour. Thumbnail. Like I said, a little on the dark side, but light can easily make it through there. Really kind of a deep, deep ruby red color to it that, you know, looks kind of brown in normal light. Smells roasty, a bit maybe a coffee or chocolate in there. A little bit on my nose. Pour a decent amount of head too, like really, really dense bubbles. Kind of a little bit of a brownish hue to the head, but not like a mocha head or something like that. Let's get through this and give her a shot. That's pretty nice. It's got a, it's almost like a, I'm almost getting like a black IPA characteristic out of this. It's got like a really kind of lingering bitterness to it. I like, but then it starts off almost like a stout and then goes into that bitterness. I am. I'm really getting a black IPA kind of vibe from this. It's weird. I don't think aside from this, I've had any kind of oatmeal brown ale. So maybe it is kind of brewed along the lines of a black IPA. I have no idea. It's just what I think. So let's stop thinking for a minute and let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Wow, a lot less bitterness on that second sip. Still, still kind of bringing a black IPA to mind though. It's good, I'm not denying that. Our oatmeal brown ale is inspired by the seldom thrown ephus, a risky and unexpected high arcing pitch that catches the batter off guard. Its American brown ale finds its sweet spot with aromas of roasted malts, toasted nuts, a touch of bitterness, and a surprisingly creamy, smooth taste. It does have a really good mouthfeel to it. Water, malted barley, flaked oats, hops, and yeast. Um, a ballpark pairings, pulled pork sandwiches, and roasted nuts. 35 IBUs. I'm not sure about left field and dating practices, though. Sometimes when they're like labels like this, where it's like, you know, kind of almost painted on there, they tend to stamp dates on them, and then those dates tend to be rubbed off really easily. Wait, it's right there. And is that easily rubbed off? This is actually like laser etched or something into there. That is how everybody should do that. I can't rub that off. That's awesome. 
24th of July of this year. So, you know, not super fresh, but I feel like it hasn't been sitting in any kind of bright light or anything, and it's just, it's, it's doing okay for being like July, August, September. Almost to the day, actually. What does that say, 24th? 24th, it's currently the 20th. <laughs> the 20th of September. So, yeah. Two months. Barely. Almost. Close to. It's still good. I think the flaked oats is what gives it the oatmeal kind of characteristic. I feel like this, if, they, if they'd like added maybe some lactose or something to it. Creamy up that mouth feel even a bit more. This would be stupid amazing. It's pretty freaking good right now though. Like I'm not trying to, you know, say, oh, do what I, I'm, I'm a big knowledgeable person when it comes to beer. Do what I suggest. No, do not. Maybe try it if you want to, but I don't know. Like, can you have an oat? I've had an oatmeal stout. I've had a milk stout. Can you have an oatmeal milk stout? I don't see why not. I've never had one, but why not? Like, this is, this is close to being a stout right here. As far as flavor profile, everything. It's like, in a, again, the stout kind of black IPA range. Getting more into the stout range as I drink more of it because the bitterness isn't really coming through. Yeah. I'm a fan. I can't recall how much it was. I want to say it was a bit more than your average can. It's probably about a $4.50 minimum bottle of beer. But you're getting, what, $6.50, right? So you're getting a lot of beer in there. And it's pretty freaking tasty. There's another one purchased in Sturgeon Falls, just outside North Bay. I was trying to look into it. Like, people used to tell me when I was younger that the Sturgeon Stretch, as it's called, which is about a, I think, 15 or 16 kilometer stretch of highway. Like, it's not like North Bay to Sturgeon is all there, but it's like you drive a bit from North Bay and then you get to the stretch and Sturgeon Falls is basically at the end of it. And it's almost perfectly straight. And people used to tell me it was the longest straight stretch of road in Canada. Which I... It seems like it's a freaking long stretch of road, but... We're in the middle of Ontario, where you can't really make long stretches of straight road that often. Because of the terrain getting in the way all the time. I feel like the prairies, or... You know... Max, pretty much just the prairies, because again, you get to Alberta and BC, and you got the mountains and stuff, kind of possibly screwing up your straight line. I don't know. And I was looking at, I was trying to find it, and there's no actual like article or anything. There's like some Reddit posts of people saying what they think, but yeah, no definitive answer to my question. If any of you know what is the longest straight stretch of road in Canada, please leave it in the comments down below. Longest one in the world, apparently, I want to say it was in, in Dubai. It's like well over 100 miles, I think like 160 miles long between these two cities. And it's just a straight line through the desert, basically. So it'd be like the most, if you had a fun, fast, like fast car, you know, and a, maybe weren't concerned about getting a humongous ticket, then yeah, you could just <laughs> have an awesome time. But in a regular car, Go on the speed limit, straight line for that long, that'd be a little boring. Just a tiny bit of the boring. And I'm almost at 12 minutes, break time. I'm a pretty big fan of this beer. It's really, really nice. Warmed up a fair bit, I'm pretty sure I took like a good hour to freaking sit down and get to where I am now. Yeah. It's nice. I'm pretty sure I didn't read the ratings before I left. I hope. <laughs> we got a uh, 3.69 on uh, Untapped with 6,017 ratings overall. Beer Advocate 3.87 out of 5, 58 ratings overall. 
and Idiot Rate Beer says 3.48 out of 5 with 60, 83 ratings overall. Which is wrong, because, yeah, they suck. This beer, though, does not suck. Drink number last. Mm. Left Field Brewery, your Ephus Oatmeal Brown Ale rating. That is a very solid 9. That is really, really nice stuff. Mmm. And now I wish that Sturgeon Falls was closer to me. Damn it. Have you had this beer? Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Because that's going to do it for today's beer review. If you liked the video, smash the thumbs up button in its face. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're made aware new videos are released or when I go live. And I'll be back with more of this type of content probably tomorrow. A piece of... Yeah, I want more of this beer now, but it's like 10 p.m. and nothing's open. <laughs>